have a nice day, everyone. I wish you safety and good health and get out of the coronavirus and others. Please be kindly informed that these videos are not approved courses, but for the fresh graduated aeronautical engineers or the aviation lovers. So, if you are expert or not in the aviation career, please share them to the fresh graduated aeronautical engineer. Please, if the content is useful, do not forget to subscribe in this channel. We will go now to chapter 24, the electric power in the aircraft. Okay, we need the electric power to provide the system of the aircraft, such as lights, motors, indicators, so and so. What types of the electric power here, which we needed? Alternate color, alternate electric, and DC direct current electric. Okay. So, what about the source of the alternate current? The source is three, three sources. Engine one has one generator, engine two, and APU. Some aircrafts or some engines has generator and constant speed drive and others contains IDG integrated drive generator okay we can look here this is the generator in the engine or APU look here this is here is okay this is indication for self sync look here this is a green band and this is red band red band and yellow band the oil must be in this level in the green band this is okay but if over self sync you will make a fault overheat okay so i will show you after that a video for servicing of the idg or the generator okay return for the dc the dc some aircraft has one battery and other two batteries and other three batteries two batteries in the e and e compartment electric and equipment compartment and the other for the apu in the area of the apu apu compartment okay so one two or three the third is the external power the external power may be DC or EC. What about the properties of the, cur the this current here? We will show you. Here, the DC is 28 volt. Okay. The DC is 115. Okay. The three isolated generator supply 115 up to 200 volt, three phase, 400 cycles or hertz. Okay, the two generators are divided in the engine with the engine. 
and some aircraft has one and this is the alternate altern, alternate current here three generators engine one engine two and apu okay external power the external power control panel location in 320 Airbus 320 at forward of the nose landing gear forward of the nose landing gear and the fuse ledge under the fuse ledge but in 737 and the right hand near the nose landing gear okay this is the three engine one engine two apu and this is external power okay again the dc the dc this is the dc this is the battery this is the battery here we said that in the e and e compartment two or one and here in the apu this near the apu okay the circuit breakers panel if you want to trip the circuit breaker you just pull it pull it or push it to connect uh, some troubleshooter some troubleshooting we need uh, re-rack just remove the computer and return it or trip the circuit breaker and push it okay this is like fuse if the electric load is high the circuit breaker will trip this is the circuit breaker where after, after the pilot and co-pilot in the control panel also in another areas this is electric control panel here external this is a control panel here and the cockpit electric control panel here mm -hmm. to show the volt the frequency so and so and also this is circuit breaker panel right there so we finish shortly about the electric power system we will go to chapter 25 equipment and furnishing equipment and furnishing includes the control panel and passenger panel and cargo compartments okay this is flight compartment the pilot and the co-pilot and this is the control panel side walls uh, control stand so and so okay right there the passenger compartment This is a passenger compartment. If I go here, I check the seats for forward and left, back and, and the side walls and the lights here, stowage, marks and 
the curves, so and so here. Okay. Carpets. The emergency equipment. This is the passenger compartment. For galley. This is the galley. Also, and they furnish and furnish and equipment. Okay. The laboratories. Here is the sink, and this is the bowel of the drain. Also, here. Cargo compartments, there are forward cargo compartments and aft cargo compartments, and some aircraft has bulk cargo compartments. This is the cargo compartments here. The door opened. Here, this is the forward cargo compartment, the aft cargo compartments. Check nets, uh, rivets, uh, the walls inside the cargo, co cargo compartments. Okay. Emergency. This is the emergency exit. Emergency exit here. Okay, how to open it, check that is okay or not. Here from outside, the two emergency exit window. Okay, accessory compartments. And this is the accessory compartment and the storage between the storage. Okay, and again. Isolation. Insulation between the fuse ledge skin and the side wall here of the windows must be a blanket here between the fuselage and the panel of the window okay i think that that is enough today This is the seat belts, the seat belts. The seat belts sometimes need extension. If one fat or lady with the baby must be extend this. Thank you very much and goodbye.